Exercise is good, and in the winter when I can't run outside, I find ways to exercise, like taking skating lessons. First I learned to stroke, then do the snow plow. And skate on one foot, and then do what I can to turn. Hopefully I make it through to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cancer Zephyrs. In the previous um, video, I talked about the process of simulation, which a patient has to go through before they actually get onto the treatment couch. Um, I didn't talk about different kinds of ways to image the insides of the patient. I did mention CT or CAT scans, but I didn't mention things like PET or even MRI. Oftentimes, PET scan and CT scanners are found together. For PET, the patient is first injected with a glucose molecule that contains a radioactive element. This way, the glucose gets taken up by the tumor in the patient, since cancer cells frequently have high metabolisms. So most of the radioactive glucose will get concentrated in the tumor. The PET scanner will then recognize the radiation that's being emitted from the tumor. Unlike CT images, they allow us to see regions within the body where the tumor might be. On the right here, we see a PET image, and on the left, we see a CT image, and right below is a PET-CT combined. Another imaging technique is MRI, which uses strong magnetic fields much stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Now, hydrogen atoms within the body respond well to these magnetic fields. It's the behavior of these hydrogen atoms with respect to their magnetic field that enable us to differentiate between different tissues since different tissues contain a different number of hydrogen atoms. Now one of the huge advantages of MRI is the fact that it doesn't emit radiation. So in that sense it's um, safer than say CT or PET. But um, MRIs though can be dangerous. You can't take that for granted because they, they do have really strong magnetic fields and so something metallic on your body that could lead to really dangerous situations like what happened in India not too long ago where an Indian man died uh, when he was sucked into an MRI machine after he entered the room with an oxygen cylinder. That's kind of crazy. Um, who allowed him to enter that into that room? Um, uh, that will remain a mystery, at least to me. Um, it says that as he went into the MRI room, the high-powered magnets in the machine drew him into the chamber and he overdosed on oxygen when the cylinder leaked. Um, and that's according to the Indian Express newspaper. Um, but it does say that um, uh, police arrested a doctor, a ward assistant, and an attendant. 